So we got a report of two people, similar descriptions, possibly having a gun, all right? So don't reach for your waist. We're gonna just check and make sure that you don't have a weapon, all right? Well, you have just seen the moments leading up to the death of 19-year-old Devon Bailey. The Colorado Springs teenager was shot and killed within seconds after running away from officers. Thank you so much for choosing Denver 7. I'm Andrew Heath. And I'm Shannon Ogden. I want to begin by saying Denver 7 has made the decision not to show you the video of Devon Bailey being shot. Let's first get to Megan Lopez, who's in Colorado Springs right now. Megan, Devon's family is calling for the community to stay calm and let the investigation go forward. Yeah, Ann and Shannon, uh, the family asked for privacy today. They have a viewing for Devon happening right now, as a matter of fact, just a few minutes away from where I'm standing. Where I'm at, scene where Devon Bailey was shot and killed. You can see this impromptu memorial grown a lot of candles and a couple of crosses. There's also some spray paint here uh, kind of marking this area. Again, it's just a few minutes away from where the is being held and also just a few minutes away from where the Colorado Springs Police Department is. So today the family's lawyers spoke about the release of this video saying they have a long investigation ahead and they're still waiting to get a hold of a lot of different evidence. Just hours before all of this uh, all of this viewing for the family for the friends is happening. That's when the Colorado Springs Police Department released this body camera video. The footage shows Bailey and another man being questioned by police in connection with an alleged robbery. When when police go to search Bailey, he starts running with his hands near his waistband. Police tell him to put his hands up and open fire within seconds of giving that order. The body camera footage shows that there was a gun in his pants, but officers had to cut off his pants in order to get to that gun. Now, during a press conference today, the family's lawyer spoke about that video being released. And in this case, there's no evidence that Devon was about to hurt anybody. The evidence is to the contrary. He was trying to flee the situation and to get away from any sort of official uh, apprehension or arrest or anything of that nature. There is no legitimate death penalty for simply running from the police. And the, the, what turns out to be bad judgment of a young man in that circumstance cost him his life. So let's talk about what else was discussed in that press conference. The family and the lawyers for the Bailey family said that they do not want the Colorado Springs Police Department or the El Paso County Sheriff's Office investigating this. They say that those two have too close of a relationship for it to be a fair investigation. Instead, what they're calling for is the Colorado Bureau of Investigations to go and to take over this investigation and then to hand their evidence to the Colorado Attorney General's office that say that that way they can make sure that they get a fair shake when it comes to this investigation. Now, earlier this week, we heard from Devon Bailey's family. Again, they did not want to talk today because they want their privacy as they are doing that viewing. But what they told us earlier this week is that this is not a Black Lives Matter or a White Lives Matter or a Police Lives Matter. This is all lives matter for them. The bottom line for this family is that they want answers and they want justice and the lawyers that spoke today during that press conference say that they still have a lot of investigating to do themselves. They're still waiting for a lot of the evidence. They didn't get any of that body camera video until we got it as members of the public. So they're waiting to really take part in that investigation as well. And we're still going to wait and follow this case and try to get answers uh, for the community that's watching this and for the family. I'm live in Colorado Springs. Megan Lopez, number seven. All right, Megan, thank you. And we are covering both sides of the story. So generally speaking, Police have the right to use deadly force if they believe their lives or the public is in danger. In fact, here are the statutes in part. First, statute 16-3-103 allows police officers to stop a suspect they believe is committing or has committed a crime. In addition, according to statute 18-1-707, an officer is justified in using deadly physical force upon another person when and to the extent that he reasonably believes it necessary. Well, Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kowaleski spoke with a law enforcement expert. Tony, what is she saying about this? Well, and Shannon, many vantage points and opinions on this and the shooting of Devin Bailey. We spoke with an expert and officer involved shooting. She reviewed the Colorado Springs Police Department's use of force policy and the video and provides valuable insight. So I don't completely say they're in the wrong because they have reports of them assaulting somebody with a gun. Can't say they're completely in the right because you can't tell if the individual is reaching for a gun. Andrea Borrego says after reviewing the body camera video, by all indications, the officers followed department policy. It's a felony. So if you go through what their policy is, 
they have um, this authority to use force if there's reasonable suspicion that that person could hurt other individuals. But this expert described the decisions as murky and believes this should open the door for greater review and more public discussion. I could not tell if a kid was reaching for his gun. I couldn't tell if he was, if his pants might have been falling down, he's reaching to pull something up. When they showed the video, it did seem like there was something in his shorts. Um, so, I mean, maybe he was reaching to grab it before it fell. Uh, was he grabbing it to shoot at officers? I can't say definitively. So, Ann Shannon, key points to take away. Did the officers feel there was a threat to their safety or the safety of others? It appears they can make that argument looking at the video and understanding the facts. Also, another critical fact, the officers were told the suspect had a gun. It's important to understand the criminal bar and the civil bar are two significantly different thresholds. And those two key points will be reviewed as we go forward. Sure. So in talking with experts, is following policy enough to make this shooting justified? Well, and a very good question there. Here's what we're told. Uh, when the attorneys come back, when the DA comes back, when they look at is it justified or not, if they look at did they follow policy, it's going to be very hard for the DA to come back and say these officers did anything wrong because they followed the rules of the department. So why now? Why was the video released now? Well, I, I spoke with a, a source, Shannon, a retired member of the Colorado Springs Police Department. He made that exact point. He said it's questionable why the police department released this video today before the DA makes the decision on justified or not justified. Yeah. That's a question we want to ask. It's a question that's being asked asked by retired officers. Oh boy. Okay. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. And our coverage of this still developing story continues throughout tonight on air, online as well. Also, you can find additional interviews and analysis right now on the DenverChannel.com as well as the Denver 7 app for your streaming device.